Welcome back, everybody. It's round three here. I'm Conley Woods. It's TCGplayer.com. We are playing... All right, what about this? Silver Speedster. No? Speedy Silver? I don't know. That's what we're playing. <laughs> playing a bunch of haste creatures that are colorless and or artifacts, which are happen to also be colorless. Um, or, I guess, are devoid, which is, a, is the roundabout way of getting to be colorless. This hand is really solid. Uh, two untapped lands, one of which is going to give us energy for later. But actually, they both produ produce colored mana later on. Uh, so we shouldn't have any problems there. Crumbling Vestige to make red mana on turn three for the old... Oh, I don't even need that. I probably will... Uh, no, I'll probably play the Matter Reshaper, actually. Oh, we got a Servant deck. Servant decks have been rather good. Or Servant, at least, has been rather good. I guess Servant decks, saying Servant decks have been rather good is... So here I'm going to easily discard this Scrap Heap Scrounger. Well, probably, I guess. If I draw a land, I'm definitely dis discarding the Scrap Heap Scrounger. Oh, no, I'm definitely discarding it. Because uh, I already have, like I said, Unknown Shores, which can activate uh, to return Scrap Heap Scrounger already, because I have three lands. Um... Aether Hub also has an energy sitting ready to go. Woodland, that is a good card to steal with Eldrazi Obligator. I will tell you that much. Um, so here I'm just going to play this. Thought not and get a look. We have a bunch of energy stuff. Uh, he could play a Tamiyo. I don't care too much about Tamiyo. Reflector Mage is obnoxious. Spell Queller is active as well. He's got one energy remaining. I guess he can just attune with Aether for that. If I don't take the Reflector, I guess he can just Harness Lightning my guy as well. Um... Uh, So what do I take? Reflector Mage, will, he'll have to use his blue. I guess he'll attune with either first. Mm -hmm. Attack him for three. I guess the Harness Lightning play could leave him, theoretically, with Spell Quiller available. So I would rather... Oh, this is tough. To me, it was definitely, I don't care about that. It's really just Harness Lighting, Spell Coil, or Reflector Mage. If I take the Spell Coil, then he's got two removal spells, and that's scary. So I don't think it's Spell Coil. Or I think it's Reflector Mage or Harness Lighting. And I think Harness Lighting is the safest thing here. Let's take that. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and tap this one. Uh, the Bromac Courier is not great, but it does trigger the Copter for just one. So I'm just going to discard another Scrap Beach Grounder here. Um, actually, yeah, that's got to be the right choice. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess it is, because I could just return it once he kills this the Thought Knots here uh, and play Bromac Courier in the same turn. Oh no, because I, I gave him a Reflector Mage, so I guess I gotta die. So one Scrap Heap Scrounger could eat the other Scrap Heap Scrounger. I guess that's the best, it's the best I can hope for. But I really do need to draw a fifth land here so I can get that Wanderer before he gets Spellcrawler online. The Eldrazi Optigator will steal his thing regardless. Um, but it would still be nice to fit this in, in this slot. Because it's got three power, it can attack past the... Uh, Definitely tap the Aether Hub here, right? What's he trying to do? Gone, gone. Yep. 
I'm gonna take it. Oh, please be a land on top of my deck. That would be so good. A non ruins of Orn Reef land. Yep. We drew another two. Okay. He used energy to cast that, so it's not that big of a deal. And. Hmm. Well, I can still. I could return uh, Scrap Heap's Conjure, but I think getting down two of these guys to discourage his attacks is probably better. Uh, post combat, obviously, a land doesn't matter nearly as much, so. Um, uh, what do I discard? Is it Reality Smasher? Probably the Cruiser. Cruiser gets hit by Spellcaller and just generally has a little bit less use here. So we know he has Tamiyo. If he plays Tamiyo here first, targets both my mana reshapers. That's not actually the end of the world. I think I just double block with mana reshapers. They both have triggers, obviously, so it's less costly than otherwise. Um, my opponent will get some cards. Oh, he drew another Reflector Mage. It's annoying. Lock in here, seeing what comes of it. Ah, that was the literal worst of all worlds. I would have loved a land or cheap thing there, and I didn't draw another land. Ah, that's brutal. That is brutal. Alright, so I guess now the goal is to stay alive. He can cast a spell crawler though. Uh, yeah, I'm just dead. He's got two, yeah. Alright. Got me. That drawing that third reflector mage was absolutely backbreaking there that he did that. Um so he's got a strange deck. I don't even know what I want against him. Got kind of like five color cards. Fleet Will Cruiser does not seem good. Some of the Rally Smashers probably need to go to. Uh, Bearer and Transgress both seem reasonable. Probably Bearer. Um, did he have anything that I could Warping Wheel? I don't think so. P doesn't seem great though. Kind of want to cut it. Uh, I could transgress. Transgress is definitely not terrible against him. Key to the city would have been excellent as well. Bowmat courier is pretty bad. I should actually probably just cut some of these. I'm going to keep a couple in for the nut draw and because they do fuel uh, Thopter. But I think Transgress is uh, better against him. It hits Spell Queller and he's got a bunch of other really powerful 3 and 4 drops. So we're just going to go for that route. Um, and we'll be right back for Game 2 of Round 3 here momentarily. Alright, welcome back. Game 2, Round 3. We got no lands. We're going to ship that. That's like our last game. Also like our last game with this hand. So, 22 lands is probably a little light. Obviously, we've gotten by with it so far. I can't imagine really going more than 23, though, with this style of deck. Just because you're going to lose to Flood way too often. 
bottomless. Sand's actually not terrible. Um, if we get lucky with like If we get lucky with like, and then just a stone cold brick, he's got ceremony projection cub. He's gonna cast cub this turn, and the game's over. So when I oh no, okay, I got a little bit lucky there. All right, so we now need to. Hopefully, he just drew a three drop, and I draw the land, so that way I can. All right. Um, He's got a count on this, right? No, he didn't. All right. I didn't have to play that crumbling vestige, um, but I think it's correct. And I could have discarded it to a key to the city just to draw a card, which wouldn't have been the worst plan in the world. Well, now I am 100%. All right, playing Seagate Route Kitch. Here's the plan now is discard this Thought Not Seer, despite it being good. Draw a card off Seagate Wreckage. Draw a card for my turn with Key to the City. So I'm basically going to turn the Thought Not Seer into two cards. I could have also played the Thought Not Seer and gotten it countered, but... What do you got? That sucks. All right, I really need a bearer of silence. Transgress, not exactly what I was hoping for. That was not what I was hoping for. All right. Um. Literally none of the things that I wanted to happen happened. This transgress is likely to fail. It also might. Maybe I should just cast it. Let's just cast it. I'm not going to need two key to the cities. Uh, so let's. I'm going to do it this way so that way I don't take any damage. Because being an 18 against that thing is scary. Alright, we got the ceremonious rejection out of his hand. Man, if he didn't get that Woodland Wonder that turn. Alright, well he's still weak to uh still weak to bear of silence. So I had two draw steps to hit that. That's not a bad one, though. <laughs> Why did he ceremonious rejection my... Oh, because he didn't play to me, duh. Okay. Oh, that sucks. All I did was give him a target there. I could discard. Yeah, I need to. I need to just take keep, keep taking shots at Bear of Silence, otherwise this game's over. Alright, he needs one energy to kill me with the Harness Lightning. So... Come on, please. Bear her silence. Show up. <sighs> I can kill this Tamiyo, but then he could harness lightning me. I could attack Tamiyo for four, which is probably fine. He gets to draw a card.
Man, I wish I could. I wish I could spatial contortion my own guy, but he'll just harness lightning it, obviously. All right, Jamil. Just give your maker a card. Alright, gonna pass. I'm obviously very susceptible here. I'm gonna go to one. This is the big reason why I didn't take a point of damage to, to transgress earlier off the corrupted crossroads. I would definitely like to kill that thing. Spell Quiller? He drew well. Alright, I think I've been gotten from the point in time where we both had nothing. <laughs> I drew three transgress the mines and a spell contortion and a second my second key to the city. Whereas he drew Tamiyo, Woodland Wonder, Tyler Stracker, Spell Quiller. A little bit better. A little bit. A little bit better. It happens is magic. We're dead, uh, but I'm happy to lose to this five-color monstrosity because it was at least entertaining. Uh, I think that deck might be legitimate. At least Wind and Wonder are still legitimate. I think a card has a lot of potential to to show up and do something good. Uh, but I'm still happy with where our testing got us. Like I said, that was a game or matches two, three, and four with the deck, um, and I thought overall it performed pretty well. I definitely think the mana ratios could be uh, updated, and uh, the sideboard probably needs to be worked out a little bit better. But I like where we're going, so uh, definitely check out the article for uh, more info and directions regarding uh, how to play it um, and tips and whatnot. And uh, thanks for watching. Till next week.